Hi, I'm Haley, and my sister is Landry, and I'm going to be shaving my head because I want my sister to feel normal. She has issues accepting the fact that she is semi-bald. She doesn't have all of her hair, and she starts school here pretty soon in August, and she feels like everyone's going to make fun of her. and. Me shaving my head is going to prove to her that no matter what, it's okay to be different. I tell her that it's proof. It shows that you're a fighter, that you've been through a lot. And I tell her it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks because you're pushing through. You battle every day. You're allowed to look different. I want to make every kid, I wish I could talk to every kid on this world and tell them it's okay to look different, to have no hair, because it doesn't matter. We're all the same. We might fight different battles, but there's nothing you can do about it. To be different is okay. It's normal. So I'm going to shave my head, and I'm going to prove that it's okay and it doesn't matter. So I did the fundraiser with FAM because this whole situation with m ever since my sister started with cancer, I didn't think that I would we would find like an organization like this that would not only care about the kid, the siblings. I mean, I'm the oldest sibling but we do everything. Whenever we do stuff, we do it with everyone. My mom, my stepdad, my little sister, Landry, it's all of us. It's, it's never, it's never, y'all go here, you're, all the other ones can't come. It's a whole family, no matter what. So being the oldest sibling, this whole journey has definitely changed my life, my perspective. When my sister was in the hospital, she was in the hospital for eight months, and having to go to the hospital to see your sister, and she can't do anything, she can't, I mean, she stays in bed, she's angry, it's, it's totally different than how it used to be. It's hard. I went without seeing my sister for three months, four months, and she's, she is my person, like I, I would do anything for her, and going that long without seeing her put a very big toll on me. I was upset. I was sad. I was literally, I would cry at school. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do anything because I never got to see my sister. She was always in the hospital, eight months. But when we did go see her, yes, it's different because she'd either be IV'd, so she has to walk around with a pole, can't run around, do what we used to do. It, it just makes you think about how rough, how bad cancer really is. You actually get to see in person what it does to someone. And it being your sister, your youngest sister, and you can't do anything, sucks. I remember when she was in the hospital, she would be so excited when I would come and see her, but she would always tell me she wanted to go home and I'd have to tell her, you can't. You know, you're sick. You can't go anywhere. It's hard. Because I can't do anything, so. I just try to make the, the best of it.
giving up today. Mm -hmm. No way. Not not me over. I will get back up again. Wrong. Going heaven with my arm. Not not me over. I will get back up again.